something to bear in mind in terms of particularly LMP2, um, the cost of all these sensors is, is significant. You know, even just normal TPMS, the, the uh, top middle photo, that's a significant cost for a, a small team. Um, there are plenty of teams going to Le Mans who don't run TPMS at all. Um, and that, although a terrifying prospect, it is the reality of, of budget. If you're able to run laser ride height, you know, we're talking about two to three thousand pounds per sensor for laser ride height. Uh, and as those of you that have used them, they break a lot. It's it's a it's a difficult thing to justify to someone with not a lot of budget. So you have to be able to interpret other sensors in order to guess what the sensors you really want <laughs> would be reading. And that's a big part of uh, you know lower category racing is to firstly you're not going to have the expertise within a team to understand um, to understand all these parameters. Even if you have the sensor available, have you got someone that can actually understand the data coming out? That's probably one of the biggest challenges for us is that in order to employ enough expertise, you need uh, to justify buying an expensive sensor in the first place is, is one of the first hurdles in terms of a, a expansion of, of a team. It's not just budget to buy a sensor, it's budget to get someone that actually understands what's coming out of them. And, and that's a, a significant step between, say, LMP2 and LMP1. Human resource and uh, budget is, is a massive factor. 